Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back covering Minecraft Live as it has now ended and they announced a few things. It was a lot shorter than it has been, but that is probably because they're trying new things. But there were four main topics that they covered. They covered the new drop, which is bundles and bravery, which will be adding bundles to Bedrock and Java. And it will also be adding hardcore mode to Bedrock. And that is where the bravery part of the update comes in. So that is the first thing they announced. The second thing, they spoke a little bit about the Minecraft movie, which we'll cover a little bit later. And then the third thing was they spoke about the IRL villager escape experience, which I'm just going to quickly cover that now because it was very short. The only thing they mentioned about that is it's currently in Dallas. If it goes well, they'll probably look into expanding it more places around the world. And then the fourth and final thing they mentioned is the new game drop, which will be releasing within the next few months. That is all we know. They haven't given an exact time frame. They just said it'll be releasing within snapshots and betas within the next few months. Let's cover the new drop first, because I know that's what everyone is going to want to know about. So the new drop comes with a new biome, which is the Pale Garden. It does also come with some new blocks. First of all, you've got a new wood set, which is pale oak wood. And then also with that, you've got leaves, you've got fences, you've got doors, you've got trapdoors, and anything that oak, spruce, and that comes in. Now, there is also a new block called pale moss. And this does also come in pale moss carpets, which you can see on the ground. And there is also hanging pale moss. I'm not sure if these are the exact names for them. Now, the hanging one you can see right here, this can be bone milled like glow lichen and also like cave vine. So you can basically duplicate it, move it around your world and place it on any block. The pale moss can also be bone milled and it does creep up the sides of blocks up to a maximum of two blocks. Now, the creaking. As you can see, this is a new mob inside of the game, but there's a lot to mention about this mob because the first main thing, you cannot kill it. By not killing it, there is a way to despawn it, but if you punch it with a sword, an ax or a bow, it does no damage. But you can see that when you punch it, particles appear. These particles will lead you to the Creaking's Heart. This is a new block that spawns within the trees of the Pale Forest. And to defeat the mob, you have to break this block. Now, when you break the block, that will basically kill the mob or it will remove it from the world. You can pick up the block with Silk Touch. Picking up with Silk Touch means that you can place it anywhere within the world you want. So you can move the Creaking to your base. But there is a few requirements for the block to be activated. First of all, it needs to be nighttime. No creakings will spawn of day. At day, the biome is nice and peaceful. The second requirement is, you can also see the block right here. The second requirement is that there needs to be pale oak logs above and below the block. If there is not a block above or below, then the creaking heart will not be powered. And when it's not powered, basically the mob just won't appear. Now the creaking heart does also act as a leash for the creaking, meaning that each creaking is assigned to a block. And the creaking has a certain leashed distance that it can go from that block. Once it goes a certain radius away, it will basically not be able to go any further. Now, we don't exactly know what that radius is yet. Now, the creaking cannot be pushed by the player or any other mob. You can also see on screen how they were making some of the sounds for the creaking. They were using, like, dragging of tables, chairs. They were also using twigs from trees. And another final thing to note about the creaking, it will not move if you are looking at it. So, it's kind of the opposite to an enderman. When you are looking at the creaking, it will basically be a statue and blend in with its environment. If you are looking away then the creaking will move and attack you. But once again, you will not be able to attack it back. To destroy it, you need to destroy its heart. Now, currently drop-wise, we don't know what it will drop. Inside of the video, you can see it does drop some string. That's probably temporary, but it's not 100% confirmed. Here we go. Here you can see they are using the moss carpets and you can see how it's creaking up the walls. You can also bone mill the carpets to make it creak up more. There's a maximum of two blocks before it stops. They do also show some inspiration of how they got the ideas. And my honest opinions, I like it. It seems cool. Now, I think the creaking could have some kind of other unique use to find it. 
because currently it seems like you find it only if you want it at your base. And I think there needs to be some other reward, which maybe there will be. It seems like it might be another warden, something that a lot of players go for at first, but then something that you don't really encounter that much the longer you play. Now here is another look at the creaking. You can see it's just a complete statue when you are looking at it. Now it can be killed in creative mode. We're not sure if that will change, but currently if you're in creative mode, you can just punch the mob and it dies. Now we've jumped to a part where they're showing off a load of builds that has used the new pale blocks i just want to show this off because it shows the block sets a lot better it shows the logs the planks the stairs the trap doors also the doors you can also see the sapling on the ground so this block will have a sapling for you to move it to your base and grow it wherever you want now one thing i'm not sure about is if you grow the sapling at your base if that sapling will have a creaking heart in the tree as there could be a way to farm creaking hearts. But you can see the uh, sapling right here. The sapling is also unique, and it does also go in flower pots. Now you can also see the doors, the pale oak doors, which look awesome. They look like barn doors. And then you can also see the trap doors over the back there. So currently from this video, there is the pale oak wood set, which comes in every single version that oak does. We haven't seen things like boats or signs. Now Minecraft will listen to feedback and adjust this when it releases. And as soon as it does release, I will be covering it in a snapshot. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Now before we end off, I just quickly want to show this because they do show the creaking being like killed when you break the creaking heart. So you can see right here, you punch it, it shows you where its heart is. And then when you break the heart, the creaking just disintegrates. You can see it right here. Now that is everything I have noted down for the drop. Let's quickly just cover the Minecraft movie. Now the Minecraft movie part went on for quite a while and it, it didn't look that good. So I'm not really going to talk about it too much. They just spoke about like what the purpose of the movie is, how they come up with what they've done basically a lot of behind the scenes that they worked on how they made things look like it was from the minecraft world and they did also show this clip which i'm showing in the background this is a clip from the movie now i like how much effort has gone into movie because you can tell that they did really want to make this movie the best they possibly could but until we see the whole thing it's very hard to judge but they have put a lot of effort into the set of the movie you can see right here that everything in it is squares obviously like minecraft and when they are going around the set looks amazing but anyway that is it for this video i just wanted to recap everything they announced now before we end let me quickly just give my feedback I think the biome is cool, the blocks are cool, the mob is cool. There is not enough reward in my opinion. And I think there needs to be more for the creaking. Because currently it seems like it's only a mob that is useful in certain circumstances after you've fought it for the first ever time. It's not one of the mobs that you'd want to go back to kill hundreds of times, like maybe a witch or something. But once again, it's very hard to judge without seeing it in game, testing it for ourselves. And Minecraft will probably listen to feedback when we play with it and adjust it to our feedback. But anyway, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy, do leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in another one.